in the term. So we're gonna use a tool called SEMrush, which kind of looks like this. This is a keyword research tool um, to find out what the traffic is and what the competition is for each of these keywords. Now I do have a special offer or a special link you guys can use, which will basically give you a 14 day trial of the pro version of this tool um, instead of the regular seven day trial. So by using the link down below in the description and signing up for SEMrush, you can get a 14 day trial instead of a seven day and you can actually just find all of your keywords that you want to write about for the next couple of months in in your 14 day trial period and then you can upgrade to the paid version once you are making some money so if you want to get some additional days in your free trial make sure to use the link in the description below and then once you signed up for your trial and you logged into your SEMrush dashboard you want to go to the left side here and click on keyword magic tool then here in the search bar, you wanna type in the keyword that you wanna do some research on. In my case, this is Mailer Lite, which is the email marketing software we might wanna do some content about. And then let's click on search. And now we can see all of the related keywords and we can also see how many people approximately are searching for that keyword under volume. So for the keyword Mailer Lite, there's approximately 27,000 people searching for that keyword. However, we can also see the KD, which means keyword difficulty, telling you how hard it will be to actually rank your site or your post for that keyword. So here we can see it's 79, meaning you'll need lots of high quality referring domains and optimized content in order for you to rank on that page. Now for a new website, this is almost impossible. This is why we don't wanna go for keywords that are this hard. So to only see the keywords that are like easy or that are doable to actually rank your post for is we wanna go to the filters here and then under KD, um, keyword difficulty, we're just gonna uh, look at the easy and the very easy search terms. So to actually see both of them, we're gonna use the custom range. We're gonna type in zero and then here we're gonna type in 29. This is just a percentage number for the KD, the keyword difficulty. And then for the results, you wanna make sure to sort this by volume here as it's already done. You can see the highest volume here is at the top. And then you just wanna go through this list here and look at what are some keywords that are actually transactional. Meaning that when people type that in, they're very likely to make a purchasing decision and go for one of these options that you can see here, or maybe for Mail Light, which is the platform we write content about. So here the first thing we can see is Mailer Lite versus ConvertKit. This is actually a great keyword to write content about because this is a transactional keyword. Somebody who's looking to get an email marketing software, they know both of them or they've seen both of them and now they wanna know which one is the right one for them. And then you basically give them the answer with your blog post. So there's 390 people looking or typing that keyword into the search bar a month. Now that's obviously less than what we've seen before, like 27,000 searches a month. But because we're going for affiliate programs uh, that actually have high commissions, we don't need that much traffic to actually start making money. So we need to start out with these lower difficulty keywords to start building up the authority of our website. So this would actually be a good keyword to go for. We can see keyword difficulty is 21. So it says you need high quality focused uh, content focused on the keywords intent. This is what we do anyway. So we still have a chance of ranking. Then we can go down and also look at even easier ones. So for example, we can see this one here, Flowdesk versus Mailerlite. This is actually a keyword difficulty of zero, meaning it's probably gonna be very easy to rank your blog post on this uh, for this keyword. However, there's only 30 searches a month. So we might wanna go with something that has a bit of a higher volume, but still a low keyword difficulty, like for example, Mail Light versus Active Campaign, 320 searches a month with a keyword difficulty of 17. So that's lower than the this one here, the um, versus convert kit. And we've seen that Active Campaign also has a very lucrative affiliate program. So this might be a good keyword that we wanna look into. Now here you can see CPC. This is basically what uh, advertisers are paying to display ads on people who type in that uh, keyword. And the higher the number is here, or if you see a high number here, 
that's also a good sign that this is actually a valuable keyword to create content for. So to further check out this keyword, we can just click on it here. Here we can scroll down and look at the SERP analysis. This will just kind of show you the websites that are currently ranking for that keyword we are looking at. So the top ranking website is this one here, the digitalmergent.com. So we can also check out how the site looks like or how that post looks like by just going to the links. So as we can see, it's just a regular blog post, nothing special. And um, then what I also like to look at is the authority score. So this will tell you how much authority this website has with Google. And it goes from zero to 100. So the closer to 100, the higher the authority is. And just by seeing that this is only six, this tells me that it's quite possible to rank um, for this specific keyword. And because all of these websites, they don't really have a high authority score. Like this one even has a zero authority score, then this one as well, zero, this one as well, zero. So this number 10 search result has zero authority score, zero referring domains, zero backlinks, and is still at page 10 of Google. So this just again tells me that it's quite possible to rank for this keyword, which is why I would actually add this keyword to my keyword list. So let's scroll up. And then here next to the keyword, let's click on the plus icon and then let's create our first list. So let's just name this list email marketing tools and then hit this check mark. And now when we want to get to our keyword list, we simply go to keyword manager here and then we can see our category email marketing tools. We click on it and then we can always see the keywords that we store here, mail a light versus active campaign is the keyword that I want to create some